today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the GTA effect. So first, you're going to want to find your picture. I chose a picture of Chris Middleton on the Bucks. And then you're going to use Command plus J to make a few layers, copies of your layer. You're going to hide those top two, focus on your first one. Then you're going to go to Filter, Filter Gallery, go into the Artistic Folder, and do Post Edges. Make sure the numbers are 0, 0, and 2. Click OK. And then you're going to go back to filter, put the oil faint, paint filter on and make sure it's 4, 3, 0 0.1, and 0. After that, you are going to want to go back to filter, go to sharpen, and unsharpen mask. Make sure the numbers are 90, the radius, or 60, sorry. Radius is 5, and threshold is 5. Then you're going to want to click OK, and that'll be the first layer. Then unhide your second one. And then go up to filter, go back to filter gallery, keep it the same for artistic poster edges, and you're gonna want to change the edge thickness or keep the edge thickness and then change edge intensity to three and posterization to six. Then go back to filter and click on the oil paint again. And you're going to keep those numbers all the same and then click OK. And then go to filter. Sorry, change the normal on there to overlay and change the opacity on that layer to 25%. Then after that, let's rename this to outlines and then... For the last one, we'll call that high pass. Then unhide the high pass layer. Go back up to filter. Go to other and high pass. And make sure the radius is at two and click OK. Then for that, you're going to want to change that to overlay again. And then you're going to create a mask of levels. Then you can change that. That affects how light or dark it is and mess around with that to whatever your image is. Looks good about there. Then you're going to want to create another mask of vibrance and adjust that however you want. So I'm going to make that lower, the vibrance lower and the saturation a little higher. That looks good. And then lastly, you're going to do a color lookup with that and change that to three strip look and then change the opacity on that to 50 percent and that should do it and that's how you create the gta effect in photoshop